Hey everyone, it's Lachlan here from Focal. Uh, we get a lot of questions about how to best like optimize your photos for the web. So whether it's your Focal website or your Focal packages, um, I know a lot of you wonder how to get the most optimal sort of resolution and quality, um, but still have your site load really fast and be great for SEO. And so I really wanna just quickly show you two different methods for optimizing your images. Number one is the Lightroom method. Uh, very easy to export your images using Lightroom. And the other option then is to actually use a browser uh, website uh, plus some of the functionality built into your PC or your Mac. Now, just really quickly to, to let you know why you need to be optimizing your images. Um, when you guys are exporting your images uh, out of your camera, um, those images raw are like massive. They're probably 40 or <laughs> 40 or 50 megabytes. The JPEGs are, again, 25 to 30 megabytes, depending on what resolution they're at. So that's really, really big. The, the average website um, sort of size, uh, you don't want it to be much more than like five megabytes when a page loads on your, on your phone. Even five megabytes is quite a bit. If you think about like your data plan, maybe you have 10 gigabytes on your phone data, like five megabytes of that um, when you load your website, that's, that's chunking every time that person refreshes the page and loads all those images in. And so you definitely don't want to have like 10, 30 megabyte images on your site. Uh, it's going to really piss off Google and it's really going to mess up your SEO. So um, you pretty much won't be able to tell, especially on a mobile like phone device, um, whether an image is 800 pixels or 8,000 pixels, uh, no one's going to tell. Uh, you know, your, your iPhone here is, is only a few thousand pixels at the most, um, top to bottom. So, uh, you know, when the image is taking up half the screen at the most, that's, that's probably 800 to a thousand pixels. Anyway, that just gives you a bit of background on image compression and, and why we do it and why we don't want you just dumping full res images onto your website. If you have a focal site, you might notice there's actually some safeguards in place where you try to upload an image and it says, oh, that's too big. Now, all of those safeguards can actually be removed. So if you ever want to have them removed, we can take them out, but they're sort of there to babysit you and make sure you don't slow your own site down. Um, and most of them are, are pretty reasonable. Um, and in fact, on our focal packages, you can actually upload any type of image and our system automatically compresses them and optimizes them for you. So just to give you a bit of background again on, on your site. All right, well, let's get into it. I'm gonna open up Lightroom now. Uh, I've got an image here. Um, this is a beautiful image from, uh, Tara Stapa, Stapa Photography, um, and she's just an amazing photographer out in the, um, Banff, Calgary area. She does a lot of adventure, uh, elopements and adventure engagements. Now it's really easy here. You just go right click and you can export or you can go file export. And of course you can just do one image or you can do a batch. It's going to bring up some settings here. So you usually want to use JPEG. Um, there's not really any reason not to use JPEG. That's a very uh, efficient image file type for the web. Um, here, I always set the dimensions to custom. And it's really nice. You can actually set your long edge. Now, any images that aren't like your main hero image. So an image like this, this is a hero image. Like it's the big image on your site. And I'm on like a MacBook Pro and so uh, it would make sense that you want to sort of optimize that image to be really, really high res and look really, really nice. Um, so these hero images are, are really the only ones that you want to be a little bit bigger. If your clients are, for example, on like a 4K monitor or something like that, and you want it to be really, really sharp, then you can actually set the long edge on these to 4,000 pixels. So for hero images, definitely don't go much larger than 4,000. Even that is like pushing it like most SEO or website speed guides would kind of tell you to avoid that. But um, what we can do here is I'll just show you the difference. So I'm going to export this image here at 2000 pixels and then, or sorry, 4,000 pixels, my bad. Now I'm going to export it again at 2000. I'm just going to show you the, uh, the size difference here. All right. So here's the original image here. This is at 7,000 by 5,000 pixels, and it's a 15 megabyte image. Of course, it looks really, really sharp, but that's about like three times bigger than the entire sort of uh, size of what your website should be. So even if you put this one image on there, it would be like way too big. 
um, for, for your website, not to mention, you know, multiple images of that size. Now here's the two that I just exported here. So this one was at 4,000 pixels. Uh, it's still quite big. It's a uh, 780 kilobytes. And then here's one I export at 2000 pixels. This one is 284 kilobytes. Now I'm just going to go back to the Lightroom settings here really quickly and show you, um, the other settings I did besides the long edge, you'll see the quality here is set to 50%. That's also going to affect the file size. Again, you don't really need more than 50% in terms of the quality. Uh, that's just applying a slight bit of compression to the image. Uh, you're losing a bit of sharpness and detail, but again, no one is going to notice it on like a small device uh, like this, or, you know, even on their, on their big computer. Um, I promise you your clients are not, are not pixel peeping that much. So um, my advice set it to 50% and for uh, hero images, you can pick uh, somewhere between 4,000 and 2,000 pixels long edge. Um, for the desktop images, for mobile, you don't need to go much bigger than 1,000. 1,000 is perfect for mobile. Um, yeah, and you don't need to go much, much bigger than that. So 4,000 at the very highest quality, if you just want the sharpest images possible on your site and you're willing to sacrifice a bit of speed and optimization, you can go 4,000 on the desktop hero images. Um, and then for sort of a middle ground, 2000 is a really, really good size um, where the images are pretty, pretty perfectly sized, um, not too big, not going to slow your site down, but still going to look really, really nice. Um, and then all mobile images, about a thousand pixels long edge is perfect. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of like blog images, for example. So if you have a focal site and you're uploading images to your, your blog, um, like here, so obviously these are only taking up, like this is probably taking up one quarter of the screen. So these images here, again, like they don't need to be bigger than 1000 pixels. So that those can be 1000. And if it's a hero image up here, example, for example, that can be 2000 at the, at the biggest. Cool. So I hope that covers it for you in terms of like different sizes, uh, 4,000, 2000, 1000 is a good way to kind of just keep it really easy for you um, and kind of picking that spectrum depending on how sharp versus how fast you want your website to be. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to do this if you don't have Lightroom for some reason. Um, there's this really great site here called compressjpeg.com. <laughs> it compresses your JPEGs with the force of an elephant. Uh, this is something that I sometimes just use if I'm too lazy to open up Lightroom. And so here I've got that 15 megabyte image. I just drag it over here into compress JPEG and it's going to start compressing it. Now what you're going to notice is it's not going to get like super small um, because it's just applying some JPEG compression here. It's literally just using this setting that you have in Lightroom. It's like kind of compressing the quality a little bit. So you'll see it compressed at 90% here. Uh, I'm just going to open that guy up. And so even at 90% JPEG compression, it's still 1.5 megabytes. And that's like really massive for your uh, website images. I, I would generally avoid having any images more than a megabyte at all. Like definitely don't have any images more than a megabyte. Uh, again, like your big desktop hero images, that's the first thing someone sees on your site. Of course, you want those to be pretty sharp. Um, so what I did here, again, that one was 4,000 at 50% quality. It came out, you know, uh, just under a megabyte. And that's like, is again, as high quality as you would ever need. You'll see that this one after it went through compressed JPEG is 1.5 megabytes. The reason for this is, uh, the dimensions, the, the long edge, the pixels are still really, really high in pixel density. And so what I actually do is I open up my Mac here, um, and there's a button called tools. And you can click this here. If you go on the top tab, you can click tools and then you can actually hit adjust size. And what it does is you can then go ahead and choose your size and it'll scale proportionally to preserve the aspect ratio. You just hit enter. It just does it for you. And then you just hit save, I think. And then you'll see right here, actually this image is gonna shrink down in a moment. There you go. So now it's 2000 pixels. Uh, instead of 7,000, and it's uh, much, much smaller. It's 242 kilobytes, which is pretty much perfect for uh, even the hero images on your site, uh, you know, maybe the main blog image. 
um, that's really, really perfect right there. And then again, like if I wanted to take this down, I could go back to tools, say I want it to be one of those smaller, uh, like in the body blog images, I'm going to shrink it down to a thousand. I just hit save. And, uh, and then it's going to shrink probably by half again here. Yeah, there you go. So it's only 78 kilobytes, which is really, really perfect uh, for like blog images, especially like on Nicole's site, for example, if she has a bunch of images here, uh, again, they don't need to be any bigger than a thousand pixels. So hopefully that gives you a bit of a rundown um, how to compress your images for your website, whether you're using Focal or you have your own website, highly, highly recommend you keep keep an eye on your on your images and make sure that none of them are too crazy big. Um, you should have some sort of compression and resizing on all of your images because putting any raw images like out of the camera or you know just edited images at full res is really going to destroy your site speed, particularly on mobile. Um, even one of those images, like the one I was showing you, that's 15 megabytes. It'll probably take the site like 10 seconds to load um, on a mobile device if they don't have like a 5G connection. So you really, really don't want that. It's going to get a huge penalty for, uh, for SEO and not just overall not good for your client experience if people are visiting your website. So definitely take a look at uh, some of your images. Uh, if you ever have any questions, you know, let us know. There's those two options sort of for compressing. You can do it in Lightroom or you can do it the quick and easy way, compressedjpeg.com, and then you can use your, uh, your in-computer sort of resizing tool. So I know Windows also has the same functionality. If you just open up an image, there's a, a tool called Resize Image, and it'll let you choose the dimensions. So hopefully that helps. If Again, if you have any questions at all, please, please give us a shout. Focal is always, always happy, happy to help out. And we really want to make sure your guys' sites are loading fast, whether they're your own site or they're a focal site. It's really important to us. We always cringe when we uh, open up a site and it scores like, uh, like, you know, five out of a hundred on the speed score. That's, it's not good. So, uh, if we can help you out, we would love to do that. So hopefully this was helpful. And again, take care and, uh, best of luck compressing your images. Cheers.